Well, it's our third day in Ohio, and Keith and I both have tags again, and we're at the same spot where he shot that bird yesterday morning. We were over there on this side of the road. Today, we're going on this side of the road. There's a big ridge that runs east and west, and there's some more of that open area where the clover and stuff grows up there. So hopefully the birds are hanging around that. Heard lots of birds gobble in there in the past. There's one specific point where I've always heard them in the mornings and a couple years ago me and a buddy actually killed one right up there. So we're gonna get up on the ridge, move this way. There's two other guys in here. They're actually guys that I've met here before and then I ran into them in Iowa randomly. So we've been staying in contact all week and they're going up this way and another one's way back in there. So I'm gonna go up here and nothing happens that way. We got tons of land to work back this way, so we're pretty excited about it. Starting to get daylight. Hopefully, birds are gobbling good today. I think we can set up right there. Here, get in there. down off one of these points. I just put this decoy out and put it right at the intersection of these two roads. That way the bird pops out at any time, looks down the road. Should see the decoy, but he's not very far. Keith and I walked up on top of this hill where we've heard birds in the past. And there's a bird goblin out on this point. He's down on the ground now on a bench. And it actually sounds like he's coming our way. There's two birds. And they're working. That bird that is in front of us, dude, is coming this way. I'm going to start calling, though. Sure. 
That's it. <laughs> That's my Ohio season, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable. Dude, it's It's not that hard. <laughs> What the that's heck? A big, that's a big boy. That's dude. a big guy. That's a big guy. He was running the show down there. What in the heck? Dude. Dude, th that is unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even believe it, dude. I can't believe we got him to come back. I didn't think he was going to come back, dude. He, just, he was trying to bring her back up yeah, here. I mean, he was full, he full strut and spun in circles and gobbled like six times and then worked off. And once we called, he was like right, right back. back to that high point and didn't really move off of it either. That's unbelievable, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's go look at him, man. <laughs> man, he came right down this road. I can't, I'm really surprised that he came down here because I thought he was going to stand yeah, up there and I strut. I he just a few more times. Oh, know, more yeah, seasons, buddy. Then. Yeah. He's got him. <laughs> He's got him. <laughs> That's not a super two year old. They're longer. That's the longest bird one I've maybe ever shot back here. Mostly two year olds back here. <laughs> that was so sweet, dude. You know, I've hunted down here in this part of the state for. I don't know, this is probably my sixth year hunting down here. And I have never shot two toms in two days. <laughs> you know, we talked on the way here and once we got down here that this area had the cicada hatch two years ago. And generally when that happens, reports are always say that turkey populations get pretty crazy. And man, it sure seems like it this year because there's not a lot of years when there's this many birds in here gobbling. Uh, you know, there's always a good population, but it's pretty surreal, man. <laughs> like we've been hunting for just years back here and like had a heck of a time. And that was our first setup this morning. Three setups, three birds. <laughs> that is unheard of, dude. Yes! <sighs> Hair tie's really getting the Good workout lately. All right, so right now we're standing up here where that bird was gobbling on the point. He was gobbling and standing up here strutting when we saw him. And there's this service path. There's a bunch of pump jacks and stuff down here. There's actually one right there. A lot of times in the mornings we'll do what we did. We'll get up here on top, listen, and then we can move in on one. Basically today we just got right up on top right to a bowl where we thought there'd be some birds, and they were there. So we're gonna walk you down here, kinda show you exactly why we set up here and what the bird did. So he's up on this high point, and you saw him, where did you see him first? The first time you saw him was like right here, cause if you look at the setup, like it was it was pretty clear to me, that's why I didn't wanna move the first time. Just right. I didn't want, he would totally would've seen us moving in there. Yep. Because he was pretty plain sight for me. And then he moved off back down to here and that's when I was afraid he, he wasn't coming back. And then once we flipped and called, he came right back down to here. Came right down this road, was strutting down through here, and was coming towards the saddle. Where that autumn olive bush is right there, the green one, our decoy was behind that. So he had no idea that decoy was there. But that might have also helped us because he might have not known where that hen, us calling, was. Could have just thought it was behind that bush. So right here, so where we shot him. We were set up at that oak tree right there with all the multiflora rows underneath of it. And the reason we set up here is because there's kind of an intersection of not only these paths, where that path comes up and intersects with this one. Our tree is here and the path goes through and goes right down there. And our decoy was set up right on the intersection of those paths. But when you're standing here, right where a decoy was, right essentially where we were trying to get the birds to, you can see on this side, there's a high point. On this side, there's another high point, and that's where he was gobbling. 
down here we're at the low point. We're also at the intersection of these two trails. Now, these turkeys, what they'll do a lot of times is they'll work up these benches or these side hills. Right here to my right is the side of the hill that these birds were on all morning. The reason they end up in these saddles is because they work those side hills on the side of the ridge. It's a little bit flatter generally there. And that flat spot leads right into these saddles. When these turkeys are crossing from one main valley to the next main valley, they are crossing right on these little saddles. Same goes for deer hunting as well. I mean, bucks cruise and they go right over the path of least resistance. Toms are gonna do the same thing when they're out looking for hens. On this side of us, we've got a creek bottom that's really thick. And down here on the other side, there's another creek bottom that's really thick. There's hens on both sides nesting down there, and those toms are just going back and forth. So hopefully that makes enough sense. I mean, we've shot so many turkeys back here on these saddles just like this, and it's always our number one location that we're looking for when we're going in to make a setup. Glad we made the setup in here today. They were all over the place. Pretty cool, huh? Three toms within 40 yards. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it too. Well, dude. When I got here a couple days ago, did you ever think that would be we'd be at Wednesday with three down? <laughs> I thought we'd be at Tuesday with hopefully one down. <laughs> I thought we'd be at Tuesday being like, man, this is going to be tough. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but I've been telling the guys in Iowa that, you know, hunting's hard out here. And it is. I mean, yeah. we've had, like I said, lots of years where we've really struggled. But this year, I think that the bird population is on our side and luck has been on our side a little oh. bit. We've had some pretty straightforward hunts the last couple days. I mean, we've made three setups and killed three turkeys. And that's pretty much unheard of. Generally, we're running around, using the terrain, trying to get in front of birds like we were the first day. But the last three setups have just worked like a charm. It's really hard to call a turkey from the top up here all the way back down to the bottom. So we're always trying to get on the same level or above them. The only exception to that is calling them down from the top where this guy was down to the saddle. This hilly terrain can be really frustrating because you don't see turkeys. I mean, these guys were 40 yards yeah, from us definitely. kind of all morning. You know, they were 60, 40, 100, and they were just kind of back and forth, but we just stayed patient. We knew we were in a good spot, and if they were gonna cross this ridge, they were gonna do it right where we were set up. My buddy Mike Parente actually killed a turkey, I think literally right up there, 100 yards or so, a couple of years ago. And that's what we were talking about when we were coming in here. We were going to a place, we knew there's been birds in the past, we know they frequent these ridges, going back and forth across these saddles. And man, we just got lucky and we were in the right spot this morning. It's unbelievable. It's been an awesome trip here so far. And we've still got, what? Almost the whole week, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, we got floods of tags coming in too. This yep. weekend we'll have four people with fresh tags. So. Yep, should be fun. We're pretty excited about what's happened so far, and man, I'm very, very happy that Keith has been able to run around with me. We'll be back at him we'll sooner than later, I think. A couple days. A couple days. Couple Might have a little bit of editing to do at this point, right? I got some classes to go to. Yeah. Well. At some point. <laughs> <laughs> at some point. <laughs> cool, man. Well, that was yeah. sweet. Thanks for coming, dude. We'll get back after him. Yeah, I mean, they're not going anywhere. Lots of season left. <laughs> <laughs> and I got no tags for it. <laughs> That's good. That's a good problem to have, though. Three and a half weeks. <laughs>